everyone. We're back again. My name is Karina van Dalen Oskam. You will hear more about me uh, this <coughs> afternoon, but I will chair this session and I'll keep you all to time again. Ten minutes in total for each of the presenters, uh, that is including questions. Uh, so let's see how things go. I'm looking forward to it. And we'll start, we'll start with uh, Ana Garcia Sarano. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, I will try to give you some hints on uh, our work in a in a Spanish project uh, with uh, uh, little funds. Uh, this is the, the several links I put here in order to to let you know several uh, uh, web services and so on that we already have. But the idea is that uh, we started working with a catalogo de mapas, planos, uh, dibujos uh, del Archivo General de Simancas. That means that they had um, a, a metadata uh, for all the all the all the uh, cards that you 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 is our uh, uh, corpus okay so uh, when we started we say okay we ca ca what can we do with this uh, so the first thing is is uh, to use uh, available uh, linguistic resources and so uh, to identify um, linguistic information like uh, entities or lemmas or uh, syntagmas uh, okay in order to have more information because one of the main problem for the historian people is that the most of the of the uh, relevant information for them were uh, in textual uh, mode. Uh, that means uh, were not uh, in the metadata uh, fields. So we say, okay, uh, uh, let us to extract information uh, contained in this. So from here we make the XML uh, new cards, and that is the, the corpus of Dinace uh, that we say. So we are from the uh, computer science community engineers. So we make uh, web services and the their corresponding interfaces. So first, they uh, they, they could uh, work with these uh, with these resources and uh, well uh, uh, using and uh, the thing that we were using was information retrieval uh, technology to index uh, these these cards. This, uh, the, the, we try to do a uh, Google like. Okay, so then uh, we make the, the user evaluation with the historian. So they say, okay, this is Google like uh, very well, but uh, in our own corpus, but uh, we need, uh, we know things and we want things about uh, uh, measures and authors and dates and places, etc. So we say, okay, this is a new uh, uh, technology. Uh, we can use new technologies, known technologies like uh, databases and uh, linked open data resources. On or semantic web uh, technologies or quantitative approaches and in, in this way we decide to uh, try to see what about the quantitative uh, uh, approaches that uh, we use a, met a mathematical theory in which uh, uh, the idea is that we organize uh, uh, the, 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 the contents of the of the of the corpus uh, uh, based on uh, concepts uh, these concepts also are related between them, but it's like uh, to discover the Latin information uh, in inserted in the terms of the of the of the corpus. Okay, so uh, we need for that uh, to make our own toolkit and uh, using several technologies, but we have to decide which one are uh, needed and. We obtain the first results. We have a very good uh, theoretical uh, approach. Uh, we had a well uh, implementation done to apply this theory, but this was our first result. Those are the concepts that the, the historians have to share. Impossible, of course. This is accessible? No. So we need to make a, a, a knowledge based refinement. Then the, quantita the quantitative uh, fail. So that we tr tr uh, try to put uh, some some knowledge base uh, uh, on the on the theoretical part. So with this the refinement, second refinement of the theory and the application, we uh, <coughs> succeed in in make a, a, a new web services, a new interface, in order to make the the, the, the historians to browser in the in this uh, knowledge organization uh, that is uh, quite uh, common in this time in the digital humanities. So for that uh, we, we, we offer them the, the, the 
the, uh, the clusters or the organization or the knowledge, for example, uh, you search for mapas, then you can find mapas of Aragon manually, uh, if it's interesting for you, and then you can go to mapas de Aragon and see uh, which is the refinement of the knowledge and which are the, the files and the cards that uh, are uh, regarding that one. But uh, we started with the user's evaluation. This is uh, what we are doing at this moment. Uh, is this useful for them, for their work? Uh, they, are, uh, they can discover new relationships uh, uh, between the cars and the content of the, of the cars. So, uh, well, we say, uh, we say we don't know yet. I mean, uh, we don't know yet because we, uh, from the uh, computer science uh, point of view, we uh, succeed. Uh, but uh, uh, is useful this or not? For that, we make a new web service. I don't know how long it's going to be maintained, in which uh, you can uh, input your corpus. You, uh, we use the, our theory, our implementation, and we can give to you a set of uh, a, a concept relation uh, or, or groups groups of, of, of cards uh, related because, because of the terminology and other things, and then you can find if they are relationship interesting for you or not. You can search, uh, but uh, uh, the problem with this kind of resources is the, how long uh, can be then maintained by the research group, very, not very, very big. So we say, uh, okay, which are the next steps we can uh, after the, the user evaluation that is very important and is not well known that is needed this 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 uh, this part uh, what can we, we we do we can put the corpus into the linked open data we can use resources from linked open data to geographical etc we can make a new refinement in knowledge organization approaches we can work in visualization challenges uh, this the, the, this this these steps uh, 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 i want to uh, to to make my thanks to to the this uh, conference because most of the I show many many examples in which uh, we can start to see which are interesting for the digital humanities so now we have to select one and, uh, and uh, it's going to be with our historian group that uh, I want to thank them uh, uh, that uh, they are the leaders of the projects and we are just uh, two people working for them and uh, having really really a very good experience thank you any questions for Anna? If I may, I, I was wondering what kind of research questions do those historians have? Yeah, yeah, we identify uh, uh, that, uh, but the multidisciplinarity for us is also very difficult. You, you, the humanity uh, research people normally is very worried about the technology to use, but for our point of view, it's the same exactly. Which can we do? That is so. The, the definition of the problem uh, for them was just to extract information hidden for them that were there. They, they, they knew about the new technology and so on and uh, they are very very expert people in his uh, subject but they, they don't exactly know uh, uh, okay they wanted something from our our work that were useful for them and to that uh, we were uh, we are working for two two, two years uh, and we have more one more year and uh, uh, now we are starting to know each other but it's two years so I mean, uh, uh, I mean, probably if I were uh, already at the time two years ago uh, in more involved in the digital humanities, probably I could have a, a better better answer for them. But uh, I need also some time to discover the digital humanities, the <clears throat> the journals and to read and and etc. Uh, we are computer sci uh, scientists and. We know how to do web services, how to do uh, information retrieval, but uh, we don't know how to apply. So for me, for the digital humanities uh, relationship with the, the UNES, the most important thing is to start with, I have that one, the corpus and so on, I have these problems that I want, and uh, a set of problems, so to see how can you uh, proceed the research in order to uh, find a good solution. This is the key point. 
communication. Ja, talk het was and talk wel again. Eens. Any other questions? If not, let. Oh. Uh, I Wait a minute for the microphone. <coughs> Not for those watching us online. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Uh, what did you, as um, computer scientists, learn by doing this project together with his historians? Was there satisfaction and knowledge, or what did you get out of it, or what are you getting out of it? Oh, uh, I'm uh, completely enthusiastic. I mean, they are very, very good workers, and uh, I learn uh, their methodology, for example, that is very important because uh, sometimes I, I have in 2000 a project with linguistic. The methodology of the linguistic people that I learn also there is different from the historian people. And uh, the, the, the quality of the results, for example, the precision for them, for the historians, are very important. They cannot show something that is because the statistical methods that we, we are using is, um, well, I, I mean, is uh, you are uh, is the precision is n is not very high, so they they are very worried about the precision of the things. And for me, the the methodology is very important to learn the methodology. And this is time, uh, so I need to put them. Even we they, they were very good workers, and I, even I put problems to them. I just say, okay, uh, model this part. Uh, okay, I have this. Uh, take a, a, for example, we make the 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 the, the search and with a author, for example, or a de designer no? of one map. So I say, I took uh, several, and I say, what do you find there? Which is interesting for you? Because, and then I saw the, the, how they work and how they're completely different from me, f of course. But this is what I learned. I think that the interdisciplinary in this digital, huma the digital humanities is, 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 is very nice. Thank you. Let's thank our